Michael, those, that Cork player, like you were involved with Watford under 20s this year, so you know what's coming through in Watford, but you probably also got to see close up as well what Cork had in the last couple of years. Like, there are big players coming. Does it, there's a bit of hysteria going on about, about Waterford holding. I mean, we played Cork this year in the, in the first round of the Championship in Cork. We, we were beaten by four points. We had four wides in a row when the teams are level. We missed an open goal. We played Limerick. We, we missed three one ones with the Limerick. With, three one ones I mean, so things are maybe as bad in, in, in Waterford. As people and say, you know, they should have beaten Tipperary despite being down all the Fitzgeralds. Yeah, but there is there is just something else. I I I think I need to say. I mean, what if we started training this year for, for the Under Twenty Championship on on the second of second of January. Now, I, I'm led to believe that's the restriction from Croke Power that uh, we couldn't start training until the second of January. And the Waterford County Board, in fairness, they adhere to that strictly. But we were hearing tales of from our players in college of other counties started training in October. And start the strength and conditioning. They had, they had three months extra preparation in Waterford. Now, if that is so, one of two things need to happen here. We need to start breaking the rules like every other county, or else every other county needs to be made to the line. Now, I'm, I'm not sure is that the story, but so I, I would contend that things aren't as bad in Waterford. And you talk about having won a game in, 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 in underage. Two years ago, I was a Waterford selector by Gary O'Keefe. We beat Tipperary by 10 or 11 points up in Park O'Keefe. Uh, in Parky Ring in the Munster Club Championship. So things haven't quite as bad. But if if other counties start training in October in Waterford, we need to start breaking them rules and start doing the very same thing. Mm. Yeah, and that's just the facts of it, Nisha. I mean, you know, there's there's the reality. There's Everyone can talk and, you know, kind of sound like they're being nice and, you know, and all this kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, winning is, you know, you have to do what you need to do to win. Uh, I'd be nearly... I, I can't believe there that that was a the rule there the 2nd of January because I'd be nearly 100% sure that there was other counties and lads that I know were back with the 20s in November, definitely. Uh, so I, I, I couldn't believe that because I remember thinking as well, going, God, November is very early uh, for under 20s. But yeah, like it just, I mean, it, people have been breaking the rules forever and always. What, all them, you know, winter train and ban and stuff. And, and even during COVID, or even during lockdown, lads were training together. Like, so just, just I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> people adhere with some rules in GA and then, and then they kind of some of them are, are, are grey but then some are black and white and then others they're just ah, yeah it's a rule but no one really cares like so I, I would say yeah like Waterford stop trying to be nice on that rule and do what needs to be done because because the size of them Cork lads for under 20s there was no way they were only in the gym in January no way and, and uh, they, way they were problems as well you know they do, yeah, yeah. Should we all do? But I don't look like I don't look like Michal Mullins or, or Ben O'Connor. Like Poppy pops too much. I don't. I promise. <laughs> okay.